Hello everyone. Today I will solve the question Design Circular Queue. And the question is we need to implement the circular queue. The circular queue is a linear data structure in which the operations are performed based on the FIFO first in first out principle and the last position is connected back to the first position to make a circle and it is also called the ring buffer. One of the benefits of the circular queue is that we can make use of the spaces in front of the queue. In normal queue, once the queue becomes full, we cannot insert the next element even if there is a space in front of the queue. But using the circular queue, we can use the space to store the new values. Basically, we need to code for these functions. That is my circular queue. Here we need to initialize the size of the queue in front function. Here we need to return the front item from the queue. If there is no uh, item, we need to return minus 1. Int rear. In this rear function, we need to return the last item from the queue. And if there is no item, we need to return minus 1. In queue, here we need to insert an element into that circular, circular queue. And we need to return if the operation is successful. In DQ function, we need to delete an element from the circular queue and we need to return if the operation is successful. In is empty function, we need to check whether the circular queue is empty or not. And is full and is full, we need to check whether the circular queue is full or not. So they have also given an example here. In my in my circular queue, we need to initialize the queue with the size 3. Now, in Q, we need to in Q 4 values 1, 2, 3, 4. So it will be 1, 2, 3. But we cannot in Q 4. So we will return 3 times true and 1 times false. 3 times true and 1 times false. Now we need to give the rear value. Rear, rear is this one 2. And the rear is this one 3. Value is 3 position is 2 so we will give 3 now is full yes it is full is uh, we need we will return true dq we will dq the value that is we will dq 1 we will return true now in q in q 4 so we will put 4 and we will Give, we will read. now they are asking for the rear value so our rear value will be 4 because we have inserted it in the last so we will return 4 now first I will explain you how it is different from normal queue like here in this queue if we need to in queue a value let's assume 54 we can put 54 here right and our rear value will be 6 like this right but again if we need to in queue some value like 20 we can't uh, insert in this uh, queue right we can't insert in this queue even it is vacant right we have one place which is vacant which is not full uh, filled with any value still we can't insert the value but in circular queue we can insert the value that is the difference between normal queue and circular queue because here it is joined this value this is joined so after this we can add 20 here and we will uh, change the rear value 6 plus 1 that is 7 by uh, the modulus by the size of this array that is 6 so the rear value will be 1 after adding 20 sorry front value rear value will be 0 and front value will be 1 after adding 20 so we can do this in circular queue only so now I will explain you how we can solve this question so first we need uh, we need to have a array so we will make a array and they will give us uh, the size of the, uh, that array in circular queue function so we will initialize that 
and we will make that array the size of that uh, value which uh, they will give us as an input let's assume it is 6 and this size is here we have a uh, variable size it is the value we have uh, at that time like the total space we have already occupied that is size so for the last two function that is is full or is empty we can simply check if the size is 0 we will return true is empty it is empty and if size is the total array size then it means it is full so we will return the full size so it is simple now for the front and rear if the if it will be empty we will return minus 1 if it will be not empty we will return the simple value of that uh, front or rear here it is head and tail uh, variable like this in this example if they will ask for the front uh, value front they will call front func uh, function we will return simply 78 and if they ask for the rear value we will return the 20 now how we can insert the value right so we have solved these four functions now we have in q and dq so here we are dequeuing so we will dequeue the, the last value right uh, like the first value we have all uh, inserted like um, we here our the front is one so we will dequeue this value right so we will uh, change this one to this two because after this we have inserted 78 so we have changed the front to, to 72 and we will also uh, decrease the size minus 1 size will be negative right now for inqueuing for inserting like here we need to insert 5 so we will insert 5 here insert 5 here after the rear rear was 0 here so we will insert the value at rear plus 1 and we will change the rear to that value that is 1 so it is simple but for in in the in queen there is a special case when rear and front both will be 0 in that situation if we in queue 5 in that situation rear will be 1 front will be 0 and if someone asks the front value we will give 0 and if someone asks for the rear value we will give 5 but we need to give 5 in both situations because front and rear are the same in that situation so in that situation we will call if condition and we will make it both 0 head and tail will be 0 only and we will put that value in that tail uh, position or you can say uh, head position both are same and we will simply increase the size and we will return to in that situation in, uh, only when, when our queue will be empty so it is uh, our code let's run the code it got submitted thank you